And I would just emphasize that the release that Leandra read is posted on the LaRouche Pack website and is available everywhere and must go into mass circulation very quickly. Um, the next question comes in from some institutional contacts inside Washington. The question is, Mr. LaRouche, as you are aware, President Obama has canceled the planned summit meeting next month with the President of Russia, Putin, citing the Edward Snowden affair, among other issues, as the reason. How can the United States improve relations with Russia? Despite the Snowden affair, the two plus two meetings between Secretary of State Kerry, Secretary of Defense Hegel, and other Russian counterparts is taking place and could play a positive role in reducing misunderstanding on volatile policy issues such as Syria. How would you recommend the United States and Russia proceed? Can the Geneva II plan be revived? And in the larger framework, how would you redefine the U.S.-Russian relationship? Well, there's not much Russia could do about this problem because Russia has not actually done anything which is really legitimately considered an offense against the United States. They've done nothing. They've done everything to avoid that. Now, the Snowden affair is not an issue because he, the, Russia has a policy, a standing policy. They are not liable to, uh, to, uh, to uh, force this guy to go, to go back to the United States. And the general opinion is that the intention would be to, you know, beat him up, kill him pretty, pretty fast. A that nasty accident to happen. They don't want him around. Now, the, on the other side of this thing, you have to realize that the current president of the United States is walking closer and closer to impeachment. Huh? We had one impeachment of that type back in the early 1970s. And I think we might have the repetition of that now. But he's not going to remain in, likely, unless some very extraordinary things are done. He is not popular. He has committed offenses. The programs which have been run under his administration are objectionable to the American people in the great majority. The only thing that enables him to stay in office is intimidation of the, of the citizens. Now this guy is out. He's about to go. And what's been done, as it already revealed in revelations that have been made, that what has been done have been criminal activity in point of fact. Treasonous and also treasonous. To, to intimidate and by the methods that are reported so far. And the Snowden affair, Snowden is accused of what? Snowden is accused of objecting to those methods, those frauds. He's saying that the whole thing is a fraud, that the people of the United States are led helpless, that the government of the United States so far has been impotent because of these policies, and that's the only thing that's kept him in office, is corruption. And this guy's corruption is already far worse than Nixon's. Nixon was a small-time fish compared to what this guy has done and what his people have done to him. So this guy should be thrown out of, of office. The, United, the American people deserve to have the right to have this guy thrown out of office because he's committing crimes. And what we're getting flowing through day after day after day, and the one of the th curious thing that infuriates Obama in particular, but especially London more than Obama, is the fact that is true. The charges against the, the government, his administration are true. And that's it. That's it. So this thing has to be dispensed with. This president does more than fully deserve to be thrown out of office. Well, he's, well, he's got, they've got the votes yet to ensure his being thrown out of office is irrelevant. This guy, for what he's done, what his administration has done, what the facts that have been put on the floor on this, on this same issue, no, this guy has no right to be, continue, be in the presidency of the United States. So if the president of the United States, so-called, or whatever that is, uh, uh, complains, 
So what? He, all he's doing is compounding his crimes by trying to complicate the relationship with Russia when Russia has done nothing that the United States should, be object, should object to. It was not no violation of law. The, the United Nations organization leaned in that direct, direction of supporting that. So what is, what's the problem? It, Obama should save a lot of expenses by just resigning and walking out of office. That's the best thing he could do. And the fact that uh, and Russia should be praised for that. They, they didn't violate the law. They didn't violate their own law. They took no extraordinary measures to embarrass the United States. The, the President of the United States is the great embarrassment of the United States, not him.